Okay, so triangle part two. Again, you have a couple of options for where you want the triangle to be stored. You can store it down on a trap table or you can store it on a stand with triangle clip, right? So here we are, we're reading the music, counting some rest. I'm gonna play triangle coming up here in a moment. It is not typically a good idea, if you can avoid it, to play the instrument on the stand. It's out of the way, it's gonna be quieter, it's harder to get the proper technique, and additionally, depending on what kind of clip and stand you have, the stand is gonna make a, a certain amount of noise as well. So, perfectly fine for storage, but then when you need it, then you pull the triangle off as quietly as you can, you play your part. Okay? Um, let's see, what other things do I wanna talk about? Here's an exception to that rule. If you have a very, very fast rhythmic passage, it is acceptable to play the triangle with two hands, in which case you take the triangle and now you need two triangle clips. And with two clips, you mount the triangle on the stand this way. All right, so now you can see the triangle is mounted flat. And now using two of the same beater, I can play a faster rhythmic passage. And then mute. That's sort of an atypical technique, but it shows up every once in a while. So what I'm going to do um, as I play through some of the examples from the book in a second, I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to speed it way up so that you get a, a sense of what that would sound like um, with a uh, triangle on the stand technique, right? So I'll be back in just a second. 